tarot video, I mentioned that I may be doing an oracle video. And I asked my Patreon members if they would like to see that. And they said they would. So here I am doing an oracle video. So these are the oracle decks that I use the most. And some of them have a specific purpose. If I'm doing a certain reading, if it's for a relationship or a business reading, just a general reading that I mostly do with people, especially when they're going through some type of awakenings or some experiences that they've had or um, they're exploring what's out there. And so those are more of the types of readings I do during sessions. So I will be showing you first the ones I use for general readings when they're going through something and we need a little bit more advice on how to walk that road, help them along that path as they're expanding their awareness of the world around us. So the first few decks I'm going to be sharing are um, more animistic base. They teach of practices, more shamanic type of practices, nature based and things of that sort. So let's get into it. So the first one I want to share with you is the Earth Magic Oracle Cards. These are by Stephen Farmer. Now this deck was one of the first decks that I ever owned. It wasn't the first, but it was among the earlier decks that I acquired. And I have gifted this deck to someone because I thought it could help them at that time, but I really missed it, so I repurchased another one for myself. So these really talk about um, I'm trying not to blow out the images like I did on the um, tarot one, so I hope you can see these better. But it talks about the seasons, it talks about nature, it talks about practices. Um, so it's very animus based. And the guidebook I really like. There's some really good um, advice in them. So he explains, you know, what the symbolism is of the card and then kind of, you know, like a divination or advice that that card is giving you. I really, I really like this deck. I actually use it a lot. So that is Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. The next deck is the Shamanic Medicine Oracle Cards. Uh, these are beautiful cards. I love the feeling of them and they're matte. Um, but again, it's very animus based. A lot of practices. This one gives a lot of education. So if you don't know a lot about animistic practices, um, this actually gives a lot of good information. It's a good way to learn um, what ancient practices were if you're not familiar with them. And again, these practices belong to all cultures. If you're human, you practice animism and you were indigenous at some point in your bloodline. So yeah, these are really great cards for advice if um, from an animistic point of view. So again, shamanic medicine oracle cards. The next deck is probably my most used oracle deck and these are the shamanic healing oracle cards. Um, I've had these quite a while and I use them a lot. The guidebook is really great. It's not um, too wordy, which sometimes certain oracle decks and the guidebooks, they get a little too wordy and they go on forever. Um, but this, these, the um, guidebooks just get right to the point. And the advice they give is really great. This is my most work deck at the moment. So yeah, that is shamanic healing oracle cards. 
So my next deck is what I use for business questions. So people, if they are asking me what they should do in their business, what direction can they take, how can they grow it, and things like that. So the deck that I pull for that um, is the Sacred Journey Oracle Cards. This is an independent deck. I don't know if it's still in print or not. Um, there is a guidebook for it, but the phrases at the bottom are pretty clear. And um, if you're offended by foul language, there is some in this deck, but I kind of love it. It's it's not sugarcoating. It's, you know, very much, you know, boss up, take your power back. And I just think they're really pretty cards. I like the mandalas and straight to the point messages at the bottom. So these I tend to use for business readings. And the next deck is the deck that I use for relationship readings. Now this is the first Oracle deck that I ever bought. I bought this in a store in Mount Shasta. I love the images on the deck. I love the messages in the guidebook. And I have a really good bond with this deck because I've had it for so long. And I always pull it for relationship readings. This one has been trimmed. There is a larger border over it. So um, if you do get this deck, it will have borders on it. I just especially love vintage pictures, anything vintage looking. I still remember very clearly picking this oracle up, seeing it in the store, and just um, being really drawn to it. So this is a popular deck. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but it's always my go-to for relationship readings. So that is Vintage Wisdom Oracle. So the last two decks that I use, I don't use them as often as the ones that I've showed you. They're like my workhorse oracles. But I wanted to show you two others just because I love the look and feel of them. And the first one I want to share with you is an independent deck. I believe she lives in France. The deck is in French and English and it is called L'Oracle de Reflet. And I know I didn't say that with a French accent. I think I rolled my R. But anyway, I'll put the name above and I don't even know if it's still in print. Um, you probably could buy it on her website, but they're just beautiful. They're matte, gilded on the side. I love the images. There's not a lot of information in the guidebook, so there's keywords. Again, half of it's in French and half it's in English, so you can see how small it is. Um, but the artwork was done off of coffee stains, and then she would interpret what the stains, um, the picture it made, and then she would draw over them. And I just thought it was so unique. But again, I love the coloring. I love anything, you know, Earth toned, earth based. It just, I don't know, there's just something special about this deck. So that is. I'm not even going to say it. So the last deck I want to show you is the Oracle of Mystical Moments. And this is by artist Katrine Wells Stein. I love her images. And when um, I saw that she had a deck, I had to get it. So the guidebook is really small. Not a lot of um, information so you can read it and then try to use your intuition and go from there but mostly I just had to have it 
because of the images. They're just so beautiful. And I really wanted to support her work. Kind of quirky, kind of weird, but that's what I love about it. Okay, so those are the Oracle decks that I am currently working with. So some of them you may have seen, some of them you might not have seen. Um, but that is it for this video on my Oracle decks, and I will see you on the next video.